in Times Square, New York. Times Square, let's go! As everyone knows, this is my second time here and this is Armand's first time here. So I'm going to get his reaction as to what he thinks of Times Square. So like behind us, we already saw everything and then now we have everything in front of us. So that is everything in front of us and we're going to go and get his reaction. It's a lot of lights. I'm ready. It's crazy. Great. Why don't we have anything like this in Chicago? I don't know. But that's why it's New York. It's New York. What are you thinking? I don't think I've ever seen of a city, like an area like this, as busy as this. This is crazy. Hell yeah. So as we were walking, we came across this 99 cent pizza place and we have one by our hotel and we tried it out. And the pizza was really good, but it wasn't actually 99 cents. Only cheese was 99 cents. Everything else is a little bit more pricier. So this time around, we got a pineapple and pepperoni pizza, and it costed $3. So we're gonna try it out and see how it tastes. Okay, better than our the one by our hotel, or like as good? The one by our hotel was better. Really? What makes it better? I feel like the mix of pepperoni and pineapple is not good. No way. It's usually good. Isn't that the whole point of a Hawaiian pizza? All right, yeah. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Automatically, the one by our hotel was a lot better just because it had more texture to it. And this like crust is very thin and like it tastes almost rubbery to me. So. Yeah, not the greatest one. Alrighty y'all, we are on day two of our trip and... <laughs> I'm excited, this is fun. <laughs> so yesterday we just kind of got like pizza and we walked around and then we came back to our hotel. Knocked out for sure because it was a day filled with travel. And now we are planning on getting a smoothie, a bagel, and then we're gonna come back, change, get ready, and then go to the mat. I'm really excited because I really wanna see the Assyrian winged bull and I wanna take like, a nice picture in front of it. So I'm excited for that. Breakfast time, let's go. Breakfast time. Let's go. Let's go see how good these bagels and smoothies are because I'm really excited to try it's it. It's what out. New York is known for, so let's see if uh, it looks up to the name. Hell yeah, let's get it. Here is the outfit of the morning. I just have like this black athletic shirt on, black leggings, and of course I have my coach purse that I just love so much. So let's get it. Let's see his let's see his outfit of the day. Blue t-shirt, Adidas track pants, you know how to be here, I gotta be as comfortable as possible. I got the Adidas shoes, these things she bought me for them for my birthday. So comfortable. I love these shoes. I'm never gonna get rid of these shoes. Okay. It feels like I'm walking on air. Yeah, I feel that the same with my shoes, so <laughs> let's go. Yeah, that's about it. Let's go hot shot. Let's do it. <laughs> so we just got to the smoothie well, spot and look how good that. these cakes look. Look at this Oreo cheesecake. It looks delicious. Red velvet cheesecake back there. Red velvet, black forest, they got carrot cake. Right here. Oh my gosh, it all looks so good. And mind you, it's 11 o'clock in the morning and he goes, should we get one? <laughs> Maybe for later. It's, it's vacation, that's, the, that's our excuse. So we're gonna try out the bagel spot next, but let's try out the smoothie first. I got the vitamin C, which has lemon, orange, um, pineapple, and ginger. And then I got the uh, peanut punch, which is peanut butter, banana, and honey. So let's go. Alrighty, so we got our smoothies. We already tried them, so I'm not gonna act like we didn't even try them. Mine tastes like just orange juice, if I'm being honest, it just tastes like orange juice. His tastes really good, he got the peanut butter one, and it tastes like straight peanut butter, and it tastes so good. There's like hints of banana in it, um, it's, it's so good. Okay, now he's gonna try my orange one, so. Wow, that's good. It, I, I think it's just like a little warm, and it just tastes I, like. Yeah, I feel like it's warm, but you can definitely taste like the, Different types of fruits in there. Like you can, there's a hint of like apple in there. No, I wanted, I wanted to taste more ginger. More ginger. Yeah. Okay. And now here she is trying the peanut butter. Mhm. 
This is good because you taste like the banana and you taste the peanut butter and it just tastes so good. And it's cold, I like that it's cold. It's got a nice like milky taste to it too. Mine on the other hand is a little warm, but I'll be I guess I do taste the ginger. It gives it that little like. Yeah, there's like a hint of it in there. I could taste it too. Yeah, it gives it that little like spiky flavor. Yeah. Anyways, next we're gonna go across the street. Right there. Next, we're going right there to pick a bagel and we're gonna try out their bagels. All right, so here's your pick a bagel. Um, I got the chicken salad BLT and Armand got the chicken pesto. But it's really cute in yeah. here. And then you can get like, there's different bagel types that they make in house. Look how delicious that croissant looks. Yeah, all these bagels are muffins over here. The muffins look delicious. But I'm looking forward to see how this tastes. The line is like really long, so I guess that's good stuff. Or just everyone that's was. That's a good sign if the line's busy and it's possible. Or everyone was just too lazy to go to a different one, and this is the nearest one towards all their hotels. <laughs> I mean, the place where we got the smoothies had bagels too, so. And it wasn't busted, so yeah. I guess there's your answer. There's all these different spreads. Yeah, look, there's shrimp. Oh my god. Tuna. Look at how fat that skelly and cream cheese. Cream cheese, I know, dude. It literally all looks so good. We have successfully secured the bagels, and honestly, first impression is that she's a fatty. For sure, she's a fatty. Like, look at that. And then look at his. Oh my god, it's so nice and warm. Like, I love it. New York bagel, here we come. You like it? Okay, perfect. I'm excited to try mine. But, like, first, can we just talk about how nice the views are here in New York? Like, I'll give them that. Like, this is so nice. It's so pretty out here. I love I love the city life. I love it. So we're on our walk and like guys literally just look at this building It's so cool and the way it's built like I don't know if the camera's picking it up But it just goes like Like kind of like a skateboard ramp and like it's so tall and the fact that like People live up there, but the fact that somebody even built it like that's crazy It looks like part of the building up there is missing um, Like way on the top. Yeah I think that's just part of the uh, design though, the architecture. It's really cool. It's very cool. Alrighty y'all, we made it to Central Park. Woo, we're here. We're here. Okay, so we were crossing the street and we realized that this intersection right here is really cute for photos. It, took a photo right there and it looks super cute. It feels like you're in an 80s, 90s like sitcom or like... Or like one of those that like time lapses where you see the city change. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna go through Central Park. Look at that beautiful chandelier, the music playing, these clean mirrors. Here's me. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous this is. These tall French doors. Oh my gosh. I am in love. Look at this chandelier. Beautiful. So crystal clear. You can tell they take it apart and clean it. I love it. But yes, we are definitely going to come here and have tea or something because this is what it looks like. Cool. This is a beautiful church. It kind of reminds me of the uh, New Methodist Church in Gary, but like not destroyed or like that. Like. Oh, that's a good point. Do you think we could go inside of it? This is crazy. No, literally it's this beautiful. This is the most beautiful church I think I've ever been inside. So it's technically called the cathedral because, because of how beautiful it is. Yeah. It's literally gorgeous. And then every section has a spot where you can pray to like a specific saint and whatnot, so it's Yeah, beautiful. like back there they had Jesus and mm -hmm. over there they have, a, oh, they have St. Charbel They have St. Charbel over there, so this is beautiful. This is
We made it to Rockefeller Plaza. Cutter has their own line, so we're in Cutter One. So we're gonna order and we're gonna try out the food and see how it is. Alrighty, y'all, Armand secured the sandwich, and look how beautiful this brisket sandwich looks like. And then with it, you get some pickles and cucumbers, and then you get their specialty sauce. That looks absolutely delicious. I cannot wait. All right, so we could not resist and we ate it. Babe, what are your thoughts? Easy 10 out of 10. I would even go as far to say 11 out of 10. Yeah, the wait took forever, but it was well worth the wait. Yeah? Yep. And I got a beer with my uh, sandwich. And then obviously the Pepsi's because they didn't have Coke. But this combined with the Pepsi and the beer, fantastic combo. I agree too. The brisket was delicious. It was so good. It was full of flavor. So what we did is we got just one brisket sandwich and split it between the two of us. We and can't I, finish two. Yeah, we could not finish it. I think that like just splitting it in half between the two of us was really good because like you're just like full enough um, and you didn't overdo it. It was really good. I definitely recommend it. I also recommend the weight and I'm not like a type of hype person place. Like I don't fall into the hype. So this place was really good. And I forgot to update y'all. Do not go to pick a bagel. That place is terrible. That's why we went on such a long walk because like we just felt like shit afterwards. It was expensive and it didn't taste good. So pick a bagel, I do not recommend. But Cat's Deli, I totally recommend. Get the brisket, it's so delicious. You know, they say tourist traps are always the worst places, but I feel like obviously this is a tourist attraction. But this is probably like the prime tourist attraction. This is what tourist attractions should be. Instead like worth just, the hype? Yeah, this is worth the hype. Everybody's been hyping up Cat's Deli for years. Mm -hmm. And we found out about it for our trip and we were like, oh, okay, let's try it out. Mm -hmm. But no, this was well worth it, 100%. This place is fantastic. They need something like this in Chicago. They literally have a wall of like people that have been here before. Big names have been here. Before. Literally big names. Howie Mandel has been here and Leonardo DiCaprio. You yep. know how it be. So next, there's a churro place next door and we're gonna try it out because churro dipped in chocolate, hell yeah. And they got coffee too. Let's get it. <sighs> I need this, because I need to pay. 41.80. Yo, that's pretty Amazon for this place. Get you a man who always pays, lady. That's Get true. you a man who always pays. 41.80 for the sandwich, the beer, and the cokes. Not bad. Not bad at all. No, that was well worth the money. Fast. Ready? Yep. Let's go. So I know I just ate, but there was a pizza spot next to us, and I really wanted a slice. I've been really enjoying these slices of pizza, as you can't tell. So let's. Try this one out. Okay, pineapple pizza because that's literally my favorite. Mm, pizza. I think it needs more sauce, as you can tell. There's really not that much sauce. There's not a ton in there. Mm. It needs more sauce. Not too bad. This is the place we went to right here, this pizza place. So we came to El Churro, which is the churro place next to Cat's Deli, and we got three churros. They come in three or five. We got three churros with a milk chocolate dip, and we're gonna try it out. Thoughts? Honest thoughts, what are your thoughts? 
The churro itself tastes pretty good. Okay. I was never a huge fan of churro in the beginning. Okay. But the chocolate. It's, it's, it's okay. 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 Well, I'm somebody who likes churros and chocolate, so let's see. I, I got a, I got a pretty good job. Let's see. In my opinion, I think the churro is a little too deep fried and crispy for me. I like my churros to have more of a doughy texture to it, but the combination of the chocolate and the churro is really good, and it's a sweetness craving combo. Hello everyone and we're on day three. Day three. Okay, so for today's day, we're gonna go to the mat. I know I said we would do that yesterday, but we didn't in fact end up doing it. We just had a different type of adventure day as you all saw. And today we're actually gonna go to the mat and we dressed up, so let me show you the OOTD. <laughs> My OOTD is this really cute top that I got from Express these jeans that I got from Express, and then my coach purse, and then my shoes that I got from Marshalls. All right, this is Armand's fit. It's a Forever 21 polo. Which is actually really cute on him. I love this polo. You got Drip, the uh, Macy's shoes. Macy shoes that I bought for like 15 bucks, but the original price was like $60, so, so he's, talk about a steal. He's looking bougie on a budget. Kind of. <laughs> So yeah, those are our fits, and we are gonna head out and take some really cute pictures. Let's do this. Woo. On our last day. Last day in New Get York, it. baby. We Hi, made guys. it to the mat. Oh the my gosh, we made it to the mat. I'm super excited. It looks beautiful in person, honestly. It, it, it's gorgeous. Let me show y'all the mat. And if you've watched Gossip Girl, you know XOXO Gossip Girl. Anyways, look at this. So you have this cute fountain right here. You know how it be, these cute trees lining the mat. And then you have the beautiful museum herself. Look at those steps, the iconic steps that everyone sits on, including Blair Waldorf herself. Anyways, it's gorgeous and I cannot wait to go inside. We are both super excited for the mat. I'm gonna go take my picture. Hopefully we can get in and I will let you all know how it goes.
so beautiful getting to see the winged bull. I fell in love with it. I love seeing like my ancestors stuff. It was just beautiful. I loved it. Babe, what did you think of it? I thought the uh, Assyrian part was the coolest part of that museum. I agree. Okay, that like randomly cut off while Armand was talking um, because my camera's dying. But we're gonna go back to the hotel and charge it. But as for now, the mess was beautiful and we loved it. All right, y'all, we're back. It's our final night in New York. Let's go, party time! Woo! Last night here. Okay, so we're, I know my camera was dying last time, but now it's alive, and we're gonna go to our favorite pizza spot. Anyone who's been to New York knows that they have these like halal food stands at every corner. Anybody who's ever been to New York, can y'all please let me know if the food places are actually good or if they give you stomach yeah, aches? Yeah, there's like, there's like six on every street corner. And we keep saying like... We're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a try for sure. But like, I'm afraid my stomach's gonna hurt, so <laughs> I have yet to do it. I mean, it. We, had a, we had a New York hot dog today at one of the street stands and it was, it was decent. It was decent. It didn't give me a stomach ache though, so that's yeah. a good thing. But anyways, here's the place that we go get our pizza. It's this spot called 99 Cent Fresh Pizza, and it's really good. As you can tell, there's a line. It's cash only. I totally recommend it. We've been here like at least four times. Since we got here. Since we got here, yeah. And we just keep coming back. This place is so good. No, literally, out of all the like four different places we've tried, this one's like the yeah. best. So we tried a bunch in Times Square, and they were good, but I don't know. The second place we went to wasn't the best. Yeah. The place you went to and got pizza, was, you liked it. I thought it was good, yeah. yeah. This one was probably this the best. This one is hands down the best one. For it's, sure. There's so much sauce in it, there's so much cheese in it, and I love my cheese. And their pineapple, delicious. We have one in the fridge at our hotel room. Uh, it's for later. Not us about to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, absolutely the best. I can't wait to eat it. Oh my gosh. The right amount of sauce, cheese, pineapple, paired with the Coke, and this is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, I'm a tourist, and I'm about to do the most tourist thing. I mean, Armand's already beat me to it. Um, are you guys ready for it? Uh, I don't think they're ready. Are you ready for the most touristy thing I'm about to do? They're ready. They're ready. All right, let me do the honors. The Empire State Building. Wow, brother! If you look right there, so closely, it is America. It is the Empire State Building. So beautiful, and right here we have Mr. Arman. He is showing me. Empire State Building. This this building, you know, is is big building. It's been New York in very long time. It's brother, brother. We in America with this building. We in America for sure. Yes, this this good America. Yes, we've made America. Yes, yes. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. And scene. I hope you all really enjoyed my very touristy um, acting. I guess I'm an actress or whatever. Babe, am I an actress? Yeah. Thanks. Let's uh... Ew! <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's continue our walk around New York City for our last day. Let's go! Next stop on this trip is Koreatown, which is right over there. And we're gonna explore it. Let's do it. Flatiron building. So this is considered Flatiron District, probably because of the building itself. And we made it, and then there's like a really cool clock tower over here. We I think we need to move like over here somewhere. Yeah, we'll show you that one. It's really nice. It's cool, but the time's off. The time is off, yeah. So here's the clock building he was talking about, and as you can see, there's a clock on it, but the time is off. But regardless, it looks pretty cool. I wonder if people actually live in there. I don't know. I will. 
maybe keep you guys posted. We'll see if I end up doing some research on it. But yeah, it's very nice here. Honestly, the vibes, the vibes are chill for sure. It's not the hustle and bustle of Times Square. It's still the hustle and bustle of New York City, but I was yeah. about to say Chicago, my bad. <laughs> but this area is really nice. It's really relaxed, chill. It feels a little classy. And um, reminds me of like Gold Coast in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's not too busy and it's not too chill. Like around this area, like it's like an escape from the hustle and bustle we had over by uh, Times, Times Square, Square, like where we were staying. But mm -hmm. over here is literally perfect. It feels like we're home, basically. Yeah, it's, it's really nice here. I like it. And it doesn't smell too terrible. No, and you got the Empire State behind you over there, too. Mm -hmm. You get a nice view of that. Oh, yeah. The Empire State Building is right behind me, and right the there. The Flatiron Building is right here. Yup. And then, and this is what it looks like in the middle of New York. I mean, what we feel like is the middle of New York. So, very pretty. So for this vacation, we've really taken a Middle Eastern approach to it, and we came to Rava, a Persian grill. So we got the kebab sultani, which is regular kebab, and shish kebab is what we call it. Um, I think they call this kubide, and kebab barge is what the Persians call it. But it looks delicious, and Arman is so excited to eat it. It's my favorite cuisine. I love he loves Persian cuisine. Yes. So we actually got recommended this place by the Syrian lady because we went to church this morning, and it was so nice going to church this morning because like just really connected with the Assyrian community that's out here, and they were just like, "Oh, try out Rava. It's a good Persian Mediterranean place." So we're gonna try it out, and I'm really excited. Arman has to put a smile. On. Uh, That's juicy, right? Very. Mm -hmm. This is almost like Reese's level. I know, I swear. I tried the shish kebab and look at the juiciness of it. It's cooked so perfectly, so tender. Oh my god, it's delicious. And then always the grilled tomato look at that oh my gosh and just let it go all over the rice and it tastes delicious look at the fancy plate they gave us i know the too. presentation was immaculate honestly overall this is 10 out of 10. and last but certainly not least to top off all the amazing food that we had some chai you gotta have some chai at the end of any good middle eastern meal if you don't have chai then you're doing it wrong what helps everything go down really nicely. Arman is literally shaking his head. He's so like excited. I, yeah, it's it's been an incredible Sunday. Like some like our church breakfast we had this morning. Oh my god, church breakfast was amazing. To this, if you could even call it church breakfast. It was that. literally like lunch. It was lunch, yeah. Yeah, it was so good. To this. Yeah. It's just been it's just been a whole like great day. Mm-hmm. Very Middle Eastern filled. Very Today was definitely Middle Eastern day. Today was such a Middle Eastern day because first we went to church, of course, Assyrian church, and then we went to the mat to see the Assyrian wings bowl, and then now we are at a Persian place for some food and chai. So overall, it's been a very nice day being like, you know, back home in New York City. Anyways, we're gonna finish up our chai and then we are gonna go back to our hotel, pack and get ready for our flight in the morning. Get you a man's who moves your stroller too. Not my stroller, just kidding. <laughs> my luggage. Yeah, get get you a, get you a man's who also pushes your luggage. True babes. This is our mom's literal favorite thing. <laughs> Wee! That was so much fun. I know, right? Alrighty, everyone. That is the end of our New York trip. And I thank you all so much for tuning in. And until the next one, bye. Bye, guys. Well, I'm not showing people. I got nervous. I got nervous showing people. So, okay. Beautiful America. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Please stand by.